Lou here from LT's Custom Woodworks. Welcome to the shop today, another day, another dollar. Today we're gonna get started on a toy box for a repeated customer. And uh, she requested a box to be 36 inches in length, 20 inches in height, 18 inches deep. It's gonna have a distress look, uh, a white and black distress look. It's going to be, um, the top is gonna be a brown stained top. And then in the front, it's gonna have her son's name, Liam, uh, on the front. I'm gonna be using some uh, maple three quarter inch plywood for the build. And I'm gonna get started on ripping it on the table saw. Now I'm gonna start off with the width is going to be uh, 17 and three quarters. And then by the time I put my three quarter inch top, it's gonna be sitting an inch and a half off the ground. It's gonna be a total of 20 inches in height. So I'm gonna get started on ripping the plywood. Okay, so I cut two of them at uh, 36 inches long, two of them at 16 and a half. Now, instead of just keeping it plain, I just want to put some some lines in it just to give it some character. So I am going to cut a groove on the table saw now, very slightly, a sixteenth of an inch. I just want to score it, just to give it that highlight. And I'm going to cut it at four and five sixteenths inches each pass and uh, go from there and I'll do that to all the pieces on the front face. going to glue and just pin these together for now and then I'll drive some screws in. Now I'm building this on my uh, outfeed table due to the fact that I'm still working on these doors. I got some door repair that I'm doing and it's taking up my assembly table, so. That's why. Bottom's all shot in. Now I'm gonna make the four legs. It's gonna be raised off the ground an inch and a half, and then we're ready to make the lid. plywood here for the legs. Now they're cut two inches wide. I'm going to miter them on each side and they're going to go into the corner like this on each one. I'm going to start off by mitering it at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna take the leg on one side. We're gonna mark an inch and a half up. One inch over. And then we're just gonna mark a line across and we're gonna cut that off. And we're gonna do that to four of them.
Now we'll sand these down a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my corners. I'm gonna apply some glue. And then I'm gonna drive some pins and I will screw this in afterwards. I'm gonna make sure it's even at the front here. And I'll drive a couple of screws to hold it in place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive these screws in, these wood screws. I'm gonna put two on the bottom, two on the top, just for extra support. And I will do that to all four corners. Now if you noticed, instead of having the miter on this side, I did it the, the opposite side for something different, different look. And it looks great. Ready for sand, ready for paint, then we'll get started on the top. Okay, so we're starting the streaking on the on this unit here. Now I, we have Jessica is in the shop today. She had done a island for me for the same customer in the past and she wanted it to be the same. So I brought her in to do it. That way it uh, works with the other one that I did for them. And I have no patience for this kind of stuff. So it works out. She's got a technique that she uses for this. Do you need any rags or anything? No, I got one here. So you put very, very little on the brush. Yeah, like it's pretty full, but I have to take off all the access, otherwise you're gonna end up like this. Ah. Uh -huh. I just gotta make sure that I don't put too much on the corners, otherwise it just looks like you're painting it.
change my starting point so that it gives it a better distressed look. Otherwise, it's all the same direction. So I started here and then I pulled. And I'm doing the same thing here. Bingo, bingo. This is the top. Now it's going to be uh, uh, 39 and a half inches long, I believe. Let me just double check that. 39 and a half inches long by 20 inches deep. Now I got a piece here that I'm going to join with biscuits. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put four for the hell of it. I'll clamp this up and glue it in for three or four hours before I take it apart and uh, take it out of the clamps and start sanding everything down. Once everything is sanded down, then I'll get ready for stain and then we're ready to mount it. You don't necessarily have to glue the biscuits itself. I like to, a lot of people don't, because it's not what's holding your boards together. That just aligns your boards. But I prefer to, to glue them together. is all done sand it down now I'm ready to stain I'm using early American this will sit for about four hours that's such a beautiful color this color I'll let it sit for four hours and then I'll put a clear coat on there We're gonna put a coat of clear on. Now I'm just gonna use a, a, a indoor verithane. I'm just gonna brush it on. And I will put three coats. This is a toy chest, so it's uh, a toy box. So I will sand in between coats. I will put three coats on. Usually, normally I would spray, but because it's such a small piece, I will just brush it on. Now I'm using these these hinges and I got them marked from the corner back this way an inch and a quarter on each end. I will screw it down and then screw it to the top. Now I had to modify the back a bit because this wouldn't open. So I had to cut this out here on each end. I went down about three, about an inch on each end. I just cut it off flush and I'll just paint it. That's, um, I should have gave it more thought process during the time, but uh, it doesn't look bad though.
I'm clamping this board so I have a support for the, the letters and I'm just going to bring it down an inch and three eighths on each side. And this project is complete. Customer is going to pick it up tomorrow so it's all good to go. Name is put on the front for her that she wanted. Easy project to do. Quick, fast, and it looks good. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.